I'm divorce Megan. Harry reveals can't suffer Duchess anymore and beg to stay on board with Queen. Prince Harry has been tipped to return to the UK without Meghan with the Duke needing to stay on board with Queen. Prince Harry needs to stay on board with the Queen according to a royal expert who believed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have gone to great lengths to distinguish between criticism of the monarchy as an institution and the Queen herself. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped away from their royal lives in March 2020, when they announced plans to establish themselves independently from the Crown. Royal correspondent Richard Palmer told the Royal Roundup that he expected Prince Harry to return to the UK without Meghan. Speaking to host Pandora Forsyth, he said, I think he needs to stay on board publicly at least with the Queen. He has been very clear in trying to distinguish between criticism he and Meghan have made of the institution with criticism of the Queen. I think they have avoided criticizing the Queen. It comes as Prince Harry surprised Invictus Games Team UK competitors with a video call as members gathered for a final training camp before the event takes place in the Netherlands later this month. The Duke founded the Games to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, by giving them the challenge of competing in sporting events similar to the Paralympics. After being delayed by the pandemic, the next staging of the international competition will take place in The Hague from April 16 to 22. The room erupted in laughter when Harry commented on the fact the competitors had had two years to prepare for the Games and that therefore fitness should not be an issue. You realize that no one, not just you guys, no one's got any excuses for not being fit now, he joked. Harry also inquired about former Royal Army Physical Training Corps instructor Vic Wales, who was one of the instructing staff while he was a cadet at Sandhurst. Is my PTI from Sandhurst in here somewhere? Harry asked, before spotting her and exclaiming, there she is. He said, I can't believe after, how many years, 15 years, our paths are about to cross again. You used to shout at me so much. Harry appeared to be told that he needed it, as he then said, I needed it. Yeah, cool. That's also fair enough. Ms. Wales, 44, from Newcastle, is taking part in five events, rowing, cycling, archery, powerlifting, and athletics. She broke her back in a training accident 11 years ago and was medically discharged. Meghan Markle has cut even more ties to the UK after announcing the end of another royal patronage. The Duchess announced the end of her patronage with animal charity Mayhew, one of the few roles she kept when she and Prince Harry stepped back as full-time royals in 2020. The London-based charity announced the end of their patronage yesterday, while adding it had been an incredible privilege to work closely with the Duchess. The mother of two also shared an open letter detailing her heartbreak as close friend Oli Zugst, an animal behaviorist who introduced her to Mayhew in 2019, tragically died earlier this year. In this letter, the Duchess added that the new wing of the charity's animal shelter would be named after him. Meghan also praised the charity's work through the coronavirus pandemic and in the evacuation of Afghanistan last summer. Her decision to quit leaves only one charity patronage left for her in Britain, the women's clothes and job interview coaching charity Smartworks, which did not respond last night to questions about whether she remained a patron. Many royal insiders wonder whether she will ever return to Britain, where she and Harry retain a home in theory at Frogmore Cottage. Their 10-month-old daughter, Lilibet, has never met her family in the UK and their son Archie, who will be three in May has not been here since autumn 2019. During her three-year patronage of the charity, the Duchess used her public standing to promote the work of Mayhew. In 2021, she wrote an essay highlighting the work it had done delivering care packages to pet owners stuck in lockdown or isolation during the pandemic.